Within informality lies a, a solution, it's part of the solution. Quite frequently products going to low income areas of the world will tend to be designed in a way how the West thinks something for poor people should look. But if we put the, the, the ideas together, then we can come up with solution. What is happening here? I think what is happening here is a, is a problem that needs to be solved. And it's a problem that's specific to a site, but that exists in many places in the world. What we're trying to do is bring together 24 students from around Europe and the world. We are here to develop a design build prototype together with a Cape Town based NGO and local community representatives. And they use the cheapest available material. They create an organic urbanism of approximation and adjustment. So by, by introducing some kind of arrangement in the street, we can create the courtyards that Andy was talking about, the minimal amount of street because there's not money to do much, but important is how much facade surface can we create and we can create uh, entries for fire trucks to come in and how much public street front can we do for shops and commerce to give a kind of livelihood. So should we go vertical? Well, if we go vertical, we might increase the amount of open space. Check out this model, huh? Have you seen this one? He's doing a good job. So these are buckets that go in the sand mm -hmm. that you clip the metal frame to. The metal frame you bring in a car, down, buckets in the sand with concrete or something, and then, then you start to build the, the flooring, and then it sips all the way up to the right. So you said the water is running this way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, if you want to extend it, you go this way or this way? You go this way and your neighbors are here. Okay. But, in fact, the way you would extend is that you would go up. You know, often we, in blocking out, we build the, the size of what your house was before. Mm. So you would, your footprint would remain the same. In South Africa, our government after democracy in 1994. They promised us with free houses, with free sanitation, with free everything is for free. Mm -hmm. Free education, but now it's almost 20 years. I'm still waiting. Although government's attempts at uh, you know, righting the wrongs of apartheid by providing free housing to the poor, Although it's incredibly noble um, and they've made incredible achievements, it also has not been able to keep up with the, um, the scale of need. Uh, and the, the housing backlog is, is vast, it's huge. There are probably about 10 million South Africans, if not more, living informally. And every year, this number never decreases because you have in migration and you have natural population growth. It's not so easy to, to develop something which is like sustainable, which is cheap and which is still dignified for the people and also which can react on these flexible situations. The first level of upgrade is to be risen off the ground. There's, there's generally flooding in the area. Um, so to be, live, to be living on a raised platform would be the first upgrade. The second would be to have a, a service core where you'd have a toilet, a sanitation wing, and the possibility of having a kitchen and washroom. And we like the idea of sharing these two uh, these services together with, with a neighbor. This also creates a, a community kind of a contract too. The crucial aspects are that it has to be um, easy to transport, quick to build, uh, 
easy and simple to build so that uh, you know people can actually do this themselves maybe after a little bit of training uh, so that communities can actually do this and go ahead with it and also that it has to be affordable because if it's not affordable then it can't, it can't be replicable and also that it, ha it needs to have an element of durability you know generally one's personal safety is an issue so we need to make the shack durable in terms of uh, one's personal safety um, and also in terms of the elements from, uh, from wind, from rain uh, and from fire. So it definitely needs to be uh, weatherproof. not only about housing, this is not about the, the built environment alone, it's about um, humanity and, and dignity. Yesterday when we started this, we put our souls and hearts in it. Arts living in God's children. Mommy raised me right, but it's hip hop that saved my life. We used to cipher all day and night. Tried hard not to take advice. Scripting this knowledge for niggas and sisters in college. I'm blessed like Christopher Wallace in spirit and conscious. But I'm not yet ready to die. As the dream of Terry allows. I guess the hunger kept me alive. This MC arrived with plenty of job. It's the rapper salt. While the rest scratch their balls. I swear they keep us slamming like basketball. I'll brag it all face beef, natural, this animal battle crawls. I'll be happy to have it all magical. You know how daddy ball, it's uncanny, y'all. In God's speed, God's speed. I used to go along on my dice up. Modi I used to get rejected. Bible cherry. Gap City Mecca to get old Josie. Marbonnelli. Gap City Mecca to get old Josie.